Hey, you ever get caught in a little white lie that you couldn't get out of and it just got worse and worse? Well, about 20 years ago, I got a letter from a 12-year-old boy and he said to me, Dear Mr. Leno, I told the lie and I need your help. I told all my friends, you and my uncle, and we drive around on weekends on your Countach and we go real fast and do all this stuff. So they would think I was cool. And they did think I was cool for a couple of weeks and still they started to suspect that maybe you weren't my uncle. So I'm asking you now, any chance you could give me a ride to school one morning in the Countach so they would think you're my uncle even though you're not? Well, I love this story. This is, this is the best letter I ever got. This story of my life. So I said, okay. So I call up the kid's parents and we work out something where I'll pick him up and drive them to school. So I pick them up that morning and we get near the school and we wait till all the buses are unloading and all the kids are in front. And then we kind of pull in the Countach. The scissor door comes up and the kid gets out. Thanks, Uncle Jay. Okay, hey, study hard. Oh, yes, I will. Okay, thank you. Okay, wow, who really is this, Uncle? They do drive around in a Countach. And this got me thinking. Are kids today really as interested in cars as we were? A car is still a big deal. Can you impress young people with automobiles anymore? So this gave me an idea. A Lamborghini Countach is okay for a school run if you just have one kid. But if you have more than one, you want something safe and reliable like a Volvo. Especially one with 350 horsepower and four-wheel drive. Hey guys, mind if I take a little different way to school today? Cool. to mention this to mommy, eh? Remember kids, no texting, it's dangerous. Okay hey guys, have a good day at school. Aww, can you take us again tomorrow?